What's up guys, Coach Peters here. Today I want to talk about the bench press, or which is one of our four primary core lifts. Um, and the one we use primarily to train that horizontal pushing pattern, right? We talk about the, the five fundamental movement patterns. Well, this is the, the biggest bang for your buck exercise when it comes to training that horizontal pattern. So today I want to talk about some of the, the primary guidelines and specifics of it. First and foremost, it is a full body lift, right? This is not just something that we're just laying down and pushing away. We know from push-ups, right? It's a torso movement. So the same thing here. The best benchers in the world know how to get weight out of their legs. And we'll talk about that in a second. And then lastly, use spotters when you need them, right? Where, wherever you may be, um, however you may be training, with dumbbells, um, with a band even, right? Use a spotter if you need it, especially if you're on a barbell. Um, and be smart about that, right? Be safe first. So. First and foremost, let's talk about our setup. Number one, our feet. As we talked about, it is a full body lift, so we gotta get our feet in the right spot. We gotta set them properly if we're gonna expect to, to be successful later on in the lift, right? So the feet need to be a little bit wider than your hips, and we need to be on the ground. I don't, don't wanna see people with their feet up on the bench or raised up really high. The higher they are, the less we can actually use them. So if your feet can't actually reach the bench, I recommend you put a plate down there or something down there so you can use your feet to push against the ground, right? We need to be able to use that so again, we translate energy up through the body. Next, we're gonna set our torso, right? We'll show in a second, we're gonna push the, push the rack away from you and that's gonna to help to depress or lower your shoulders, right? Shoulders down and back. Um, we want to create a big chest and we want our abs really tight, right? We're going to brace, 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 just like we do with anything else, right? So rib cage is down with a big chest there. We want to flatten that low back, right? And we're going to, as we push the rack away, we want to drive our knees forward out in front of our toes. And the reason for that is so that we can still, again, push down into the ground. If our knees are pulled back, then we're not going to be able to apply much force through those feet. Um, into the ground. So finally we want our hands wider in our chest, right? There is some narrow grip stuff out there and there's some wide grip stuff out there, but naturally the shoulders do really well when it's just slightly wider in your chest and also so you can clear your chest on, on the way down. Finally get your thumbs around that bar. I don't want to see any false grips, whether it be a barbell or a dumbbell or a band, whatever it may be. Nobody wants to get slapped with something, right? So please be safe there. Once we get into the actual movement, right? We're set up, we're under the weight, um, or even on a bench press or a push-up position where you're up top, right? We're set up, we're up top, and we're ready to go. From there, the, we unrack the weight, and we begin with it over our shoulders, as I show you here. Right? We wanna start with it here. Don't start with it up high, right, or down low. We gotta start with the weight coming directly into our stable foundation, which is our shoulder and torso, right? As we go down, because the elbows are gonna bend, it's gonna push the weight down towards our hips just a little bit. So with a, with a barbell bench press, or a dumbbell bench press, those elbows are gonna fall, which is gonna push the weight down in a small arc, as we can see here, and then it should land right underneath your chest. That's kind of what we're looking at. So on the descent, elbows again at 45 as well. We don't wanna keep those in tight, and we don't wanna flare them out wide as well. We should keep them at a nice 45 degree angle, finishing under the chest. Once we're in the hole, stay braced, right? Don't let that thing sink into you. We wanna stay nice and tight. And finally, as we press, we maintain those three points of contact. One big thing, whether it be a push-up or a bench press with a major max barbell, right? We don't want to get in that hard arch position. We want to maintain those three points of contact, maintain your brace, stay nice and tight. Let's get to benching.